Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video we're going to continue the ComfyUI guides and tutorials. So if you missed out on our previous videos, make sure to check out the playlist. It has all the videos about ComfyUI. We talked about a lot of stuff there. And today we're going to be talking about uh, LoRa's. So in text to image generation, there's something called LoRa's, which is, uh, stands for low rank adaptation model. And this model is trained on a style, a character, or an object. So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing three style LoRa's that I have added to the members list. We have the first one is uh, ARD Crystallize. They're all made for flux. As you can see, they add crystal-like style to the images. And they add really, really unique uh, style to the image. So you can crystallize your images like this. The second one is Flux ARD Fumes LoRa, which adds fumes like, uh, you know, like uh, objects or images, as you can see, like the trees are made of fumes. The car, it adds fumes to the car as well. And as you can see, this deer is also made of fumes like this. And the third one is the paper uh, Laura. So it makes uh, 3D characters made of, or not characters, but the style is paper-like or cardboard-like images. So you can check them out at my coffee page. The links are in the description. So without overdue, uh, what we're going to be uh, doing today is talking about how to connect the Lauras in your Comfy UI workflow and how to mix them up and use them to generate really unique in images. So first of all, we're gonna disable this one and look at a normal default workflow. Enable this and let's see. So this is the LoRa. The LoRa comes in between the load checkpoint and the case sampler and the positive prompt. So the input is model and clip the model goes to the uh, load checkpoint model so whatever model you're using sd 1.5 sdxl or flux the model goes to the model the clip goes to the clip and then the model here goes to the model here and the clip goes to the uh, clip of the positive prompt only the clip of the negative prompt goes to the model itself here so it doesn't go to the LoRa because the negative prompt is not going to be augmented or changed through the LoRa only the positive prompt so as you can see without the LoRa the LoRa was disconnected we get a normal lion like this and when we add a LoRa so this LoRa is Chinese style illustration if you want to add a LoRa you just add like this let me zoom in a little so you can see what's been shown. You just type Laura. I'm going to show you the other way. This is one, one way. Chinese. So you just type Chinese and style illustration version two. This is the same Laura that we're using here. So you need to have the same Laura. So the tag is added for the Laura and our prompt is lion. So now when we generate, Let's generate and see how the style of the lion is going to change. And uh, yeah, uh, like without the LoRa, you just uh, generate normal images, realistic images, if you will. And once you have the LoRa enabled and the tag added and the weight is enough, so the default is one, you generate a Chinese styled illustration of a lion which is really really cool to generate uh, nice and unique images the LoRa here you just double click and type load LoRa and you just get this node this is it if you want uh, this node here has the strength of the model one is the default more than one means apply more of the effect of the LoRa less than one means uh you know not applying the 
full effect of the Laura, just a portion of it. Strength clip means, uh, you know, confirm to the textual prompt. One is default, more than one is very, very strict uh, confirmation or uh, sticking to the prompt. Less than one is less sticking with the prompt. So these are the var variables used in Allura. Uh, if you use RG3, which I really recommend, RG3 has a, a load, a Laura load stack. We're going to be talking about this in the uh, next workflow, the flux workflow. The same inputs and outputs, same thing, but it allows you to load up to four Lauras here, four different Lauras. So each Laura has uh, its own strength as well. So it's uh, that's the main objective of the Laura. Now we're just going to see the flux workflow and the three different uh, Lauras that we have for the members. So we have the crystallized Laura. Let's try that first and hit generate. You just add the crystallized Laura with weight one. And then here you need to add ARD crystallize. So this is the trigger word of the Laura instead of the tag that we added at the beginning. You can use the trigger word. So when you download a Laura, make sure to take the trigger word and the recommended strength of the LoRa uh, here, so one or one point three. I usually use one. If I don't get like uh, good enough results, I use one point three. And uh, you hit generate, and you'll see the generation of the lion as uh, made of crystal. So one of them, the crystallize, it will make it a lion made of crystal. The other one, uh, a lion made of fumes and a lion made of paper. So this is the beauty of uh, using a Laura. You can also mix the three together and that will get uh, pretty unique results. Sometimes it doesn't work, but with these Lauras, you can put like 0 0.33 one and 0 0.33 or 0 0.5 and mix and mingle the different styles until you get the specific style that you like and uh, get an amazing image so as you can see here we got a crystal styled lion he's made of crystal if you increase as you can see, like the head is not uh, crystallized. So if we increase the weight to 1.3, like this, and hit generate, we're gonna get stronger uh, applying of the crystal Laura. So as you can see here, when we set the weight to 1.3, I have reduced the steps to four steps for faster generation. So you get a really nice crystallized uh, lion. It's fully crystallized. And now we can test the, we can set this to zero and test the fumes Laura, but we have to change the tag here to fumes like this. And let's set this to 1.3 because that's the recommended uh, weight and now we add the uh, paper Laura with 1.3 weights and the rest to zero and hit generate and we also add the tag the RD paper trigger word for the Laura and as you can see with the ARD paper Laura Set to 1.3, we get a lion made of paper or cardboard. So this is the uh, three-dimensional image of a lion. So these are the three different Lauras, crystallize, fumes, and paper. They have been added to my coffee page for the members. Uh, I hope you guys like them and play with them and make sure to share the images that you guys create. I would love to see them uh, and enjoy them.
and I'll be adding much more Loras to the members uh, list. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye.